Okay, Spider Queen, Skeletal Champions, Fire Golems, Demon Lords. Let's go after the Cave Trolls and the Frost Dragons. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so draw a card, gain three APs, or let's go with this guy. Meat Sword! Right, I need to go rename some characters at some point. Okay, so this is fine. Dexterity gets me an Improvise. Gets me another Improvise. Let's just hit him for a bit, and he's dead. Yeah, I like how quick the battles are on some of these. Oh, <laughs> these healers would have been nice in the other area, but whatever. Okay. Oh, he's going first. I guess, yeah, of course, I don't always get to go first. Improvise, block, improvise, block again, concentrate, heal up. Yeah, I gotta get rid of those basic attacks to actually do well with this character, unfortunately. Let's see. Oh, it's just kind of slow right now. I might also switch the music out. It's a little repetitive. We'll see. Well, one way or another, he's dead. I level up. We get some gold. Uh, let's see. What do we want? Honestly, I really like chaining daggers. Oh, but daggers don't level up at all. I still like chaining daggers. They're 100% worth it. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the captain. Let's see, is this an older game or a new release? This is an, this is a much older game. Uh, main reason why I'm playing it is because roguelike roulette. Figure, why not? It's fun. Uh, let's see, so Harbinger does not fear the poison. Okay. Up to five random upgradable cards in your deck gain a level, but all enemies gain two retaliate one cards that cancel and counter your attack cards. No. That would be, that would be death. I don't think I would enjoy that. Okay, let's mulligan this. That's not much better. If I hold on to that, I guess let's just hit it for the pure damage. Holding on to cards can be good. How do I draw three cards invariably every single time? I actually am not sure. It's been a little bit since I played this game. A long time since I did the, uh... Since I did the tutorial, unfortunately. Let's see. I don't know what its HP is. Yeah, it's still a ways off from being being killed. Yeah, I like the dagger spam. It's really effective. I just need more of them. Because if I could get an entire deck of dagger spam, I'd just never stop. Maybe. Dang it. Healed itself. Son of a bug. Okay, no more healing for it. Perfect. Okay, do we go after the cave beetle? Let's go to the warrior. Not sure what this guy does. Offense is the best defense. Really rare gift. Level 5 attack card. Recover 10% of your HP, max HP, then draw the next two attack cards in your draw deck, if any, then banish the card, or just do 25 physical damage. Hmm. Because attack V would do a buttload of damage. Would certainly help in the early game. And the later game. Battle Frenzy would be light healing. I'm gonna go attack V. Let's let's be boring here. Okay, we could go to the merchant. Let's go to a healer, see what they have. Okay, so I can heal full HP, delete a card. I'm gonna save the other one. Let's go after the vampire bat. 
Okay, mulligan, start a battle. I like this one. Improvise isn't bad. Yeah, hopefully we can get some equipment later on that drastically increases my... What does flight do? Oh. Fifty percent chance to cancel my attacks. That's that's rough. At least it was only a basic damage round. Okay, dagger, concentrate, heal, draw a card, chain strike, extra AP, wreck the bat. Yeah, the attack five is kind of worth it. I leveled up. So heal four mana, heals. 9 HP instantly. Reduces your poison and bleeding status by 2. Overhealing becomes block. Yeah. It's not amazing for what I'm doing, but it's worth it. Okay. Mulligan, start a battle. Mulligan that one. That's more exciting. Dexterity. Okay, that wasn't as exciting as I was hoping it would be, unfortunately. Okay, so I do not gain mana fast, unfortunately. So maybe that heal is actually a really stupid idea. Let's see. Now this is a level four, so let's concentrate, draw a card, hit him with a dagger, hit him with a chain strike, hit him with an attack two, and we'll wait on the next round. Okay. Improvise, extra block. Yeah, so upgrading those attack cards considerably actually makes a massive difference in this. Well, let's heal, improvise, gain more AP for some reason. Oh. I guess it actually healed quite a lot. Well, it's fine. Dagger. Hit it in the face. Levels up. So I can get a backstab three. I can delete a card. I can find an item. Backstab 3 wouldn't be terrible. Otherwise, I could delete a card. L let's let's keep deleting my attacks. Because getting rid of them makes is going to be huge for this run. Okay, so we want to delete another card. Delete the attacks once. We have a campfire. I don't know what campfires are useful for. Let's camp here. We can delete a card from your deck when claiming card rewards. Okay. When you rest at a bonfire, you draw random rewards from a deck of dull cards. Two of the, two of the cards are fist prone cards. If you draw these, you lose all the rewards you've gained so far. Okay, choose a card to delete. Attack one. Because, yeah, if I get rid of a lot of those, I will be ridiculously strong. Probably. Ah, uh, it's Mulligan. That's slightly better. I mean, he's almost dead. And yeah, if I can increase my starting APs considerably, that'll also make me fairly dangerous. Okay, defeated that. So far, so good. Go to the captain? Because he can increase my starting AP. Could have upgraded a card as well, but... Mm, I don't think I want to. Okay, not super exciting. This is... Uh, it's better-ish. Uh, let's see. Draw a card. Gets me a dagger. Gets me an attack two. Attack three. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Hey, Wander, finally able to catch your stream. You got me interested in D&D. &D. Good! I, be, I, I hope you found a campaign to attach yourself to that's... Uh, that's worth doing. Uh, let's see. Do we want to... We can maybe do this. Well, yeah, that worked fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I'm super jazzed about D&D right now because uh, we'll be starting our, our new campaign tomorrow and I'm, I'm, I don't know. I've been waiting for the ability to play D&D again for 
quite some time, and so it's nice to finally get to the point where, yeah, I'm going to be able to again. Hand size has been increased to four cards. Huh. Okay, Feral Lion. This should be fine. Dagger. Dagger. Chain Strike. Chain Strike. Improvise. Block. I was really hoping I could get a backstab after all of that, but no dice. Okay. Oh, he's making me discard cards. Well, that wasn't very effective. <laughs> that attack five was worth it. Maybe not that worth it, but it was worth it for me all the same. Okay. Well, this poor spider. Improvise attack. Improvise attack. Dexterity. Thunder slab. It is dead. Okay, let's go to the merchant. Let's see what we got. Let's see. So view wears anything amazing. Starting damage, starting AP. Armor, temp defend, temp pure strike. Extra starting mana, extra gold per battle. Pickpocket or venom strike. Venom strike would be pretty good. Let's grab venom strike. Go back to the merchant. Delete a card. We want to delete... My last attack one. And we want to upgrade. I could upgrade Venom Strike. I could upgrade Backstab. I'm going to do that. And then everything else is going to be too expensive. Okay, Cave Troll. Okay, Cave Troll. I've got attack, chain strike, attack, and concentrate. It's probably fine. Concentrate. Draw a card. Improvise. Block. Chain strike. Dagger. Attack two. Attack five. Can't get the other one, but that's okay. Yeah, so increasing my, my starting AP seems like a really good idea at this point. Chain strike. Improvise. Block again. Attack. Can't get any more mana, but that's okay. Well, the cave troll isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it still hurts, but it doesn't hurt that much. There he goes. Get the potion, get a random item. Okay, so what do we do? Extra starting mana? Eh, wouldn't be bad. Find, find an item. Yeah, let's go for the starting mana, just so I can start going for that, uh, that heal. Okay, so I can go for the heal. Go for the merchants. Now these are passive bonuses. Two mage two. All future rogues start with an additional two AP. Knights, assassins, beast masters, monks. I think I'm playing as a rogue. I thought I picked thief. More gold. We need it. Okay, so we got the Dagger of Malinity. Gives me a Temp Venom Strike, as opposed to damage versus large, damage per attack, and a Temp Thunder Slam. Dagger would be good on healing potions, though. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of the. Oh, damage two. Damage two. No? Okay, so Eye Demons, Green Dragons, Mama Orcs, Mummy Kings. Let's go for the Quagmire Swamp again. It didn't screw me over the last time. Let's see. Is Wonder playing with the advanced classes? I have them unlocked, but they weren't very good. Okay, now choose a second companion. Oh. Oh, right. I get multiple. Right. I still need to rename them. Well, it's fine. Later. Okay, find a treasure chest, gain a card, gain 20 gold. Gain a card. Poison dagger. Enemy suffers poison six. Another treasure. Gain a card. Power strike. Don't know if it's a good idea. I'll go with it anyway. Okay, undead ranger. Any of these guarantee a level up? No. So let's go after the Undead Ranger first and figure it out past this point. 
Okay, good at landing crits always starts before you. I've got Venom Strike, Heal, Dagger, and Attack 2. Okay, so let's heal up, get rid of that poison. Venom strike him. Dagger, chain strike. Which he cancelled. Ah. I'll have to try Ranger at some point. Maybe. They seem pretty good. Ugh. Dagger, improvise, block. Improvise. Walk again. Poison dagger. And an attack. Now we also have meat sword. Let's do that. Hit him with a power hit. And then gain a little bit of gold. For better or worse. And you just get smacked around at this level. Heal up. Dexterity. Nope, he countered me. I've got a whole bunch of APs. So let's just go with the full slam. Okay. Let's see. I can gain 20 EXP, call Raven, or Black Raven. Go for the 20 EXP that levels me up. Okay, so I can upgrade a card. Deadly Gas, 12 pure damage to the enemy. If this card is discarded by a card's effect, deal 30 pure damage. Poison 6. Let's upgrade a card. Let's upgrade Venom Strike. And what do we do? Honestly, what I should probably do is go kill that Griffin. It up, it opens up a lot more of the board for me. Beware its deadly pounce and its sharp rending talons. Okay, that's a little bit more exciting. Dexterity, improvise for the block. Oh, it's got, it's got some beef to it, which I don't like. But we've done some damage to it. It's just the real question: How much damage does it do? Three less, and take more. Oh, weakened is rough. Okay, that does not get rid of the weekend. Okay, do I have enough? I have enough for both of these. Okay, we still did damage. Not so bad. Weakened is mean. Let's see. I should have enough for all of these. Perfect. Oh, God. How does it have all of these cards? Heal up a bit. Poison dagger. Attack five. Oh, it's not dead yet, but it'll kill itself on its next action as long as I don't die. Wait. It just ended its turn? Okay. It just ended its turn. Unfortunately, I'm right and ready to die. Okay, view wares. I've got some money. Let's see if I can buy anything cool. Extra point potion drop chance. Temp venom strike. Extra critical damage. Temp dex. Or block per card played. Yeah, I want to get this freaking mage knife belt. Uh, let's go done for a second. Oh, good. We've got a bunch of captains nearby. Upgrade a card, Venom Strike. Okay, upgrade a card, Power Strike. Extra starting AP. We get an Altar. Let's see. Extra starting. No, thank you. So I am, I am dead. 
Uh, no, I'm not necessarily dead. If you wears, I could heal. Alternatively, I'm going to buy the restoring plate mail of malignity. Malignity? And then we are going to just... Uh, let's see. What is the next level 9? There is no other no level 9 creatures. Okay, so going after the griffin was probably a bad idea. Mulligan this one. Well, I don't have a choice. So dexterity, improvised block, dagger, draw some. I've still got... Well, I killed him. And we get a potion. Okay, do we have any other level sixes? Yes, we've got a lion outlaw. Okay. Uh, let's see, I've got an improvised point. No, 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 no. That's better. Okay, dexterity gets me some more. Heals me up a bit. He's got so much HP, though. Backstab. Yep, I'm dead. I am on fire. And he's just gonna kill me. Yep, there we go. Well, I believe I get to keep my gear, though. I'm, I'm feeling rogue for the time being. I mean, we could roll Merchant. I could try Assassin or any of the other ones, too. Okay, let's go with this guy. I, I'm feeling rogue today. Even though I'm still getting wrecked. Okay, so... Oh! That actually works really well for me. Oh, let's see, extra HP from potion drops. Extra retaliate potion drops. I like the gold from battle. Now, in retrospect, if I grab these two, that puts me at a near 100% chance of getting... That gives me a near 100% chance of getting potions. I wonder if, I wonder if that's actually going to be better. I, I might have to switch my upgrades over. If I switch potion chance to potion heal, let's do that. Because, yeah, now they heal me 25% instead of 15%. Uh, let's see, cave trolls, spider queen skeletons, iron golems, I don't know. Ah, oh, right, I keep meaning to change characters. Okay, AP, yeah, we want this guy. Wow. Wow. I have a lot of starting HP. I see how this game is supposed to go. Because, yeah, I was thinking it would be different. Beautify gold whenever you play this card. Banish this card, draw a card, or... Let's get the bag of gold. Some amount of money seems like a good idea. Okay, random elemental resistance. Lose two starting action points. I'm gonna claim that. That's gonna screw me over for a little while, but I can, I can get around it. Gain gold, gain a card. Gain a card, dissipate. Or venom strike. We wanna go venom strike. And let's go this way. Okay, dagger, chain strike, attack, attack, concentrate, draw a card, backstab. Nah, eh, didn't do as much as I wanted to, but that's okay.
Improvise. Improvise. Dexterity. Ah, missed it. Well, it's fine. I guess we get the, uh, bag of gold. There we go. We didn't take too much. I get the potion. I level up. Everything is good. So, flame strike. Let's set them on fire. No, we gotta go starting AP. Because, yeah, my current starting AP is bad. Delete a card, get rid of an attack one. I really wish you could actually slowly remove those from the deck before starting. This is probably fine. Your yeah, retaliate deck would be kind of interesting in the future. Because they're, they're brutal. Not only does it cancel the attack, but you hurt them too. I didn't do as much damage as I'd like to, but that's okay. Probably should have healed. That's okay. I'm doing mostly fine. At, at least tier one has kind of become ludicrously easy. So dexterity, dagger, chain strike. There we go. Let's see, so I could pickpocket. Get another chain strike. I like Chain Strike, it's worth it. Let's see, plus one starting AP, upgrade a card. Now we gotta go with the AP. We're gonna be in trouble otherwise. Let's see, heal. Draw a card. Kinda worth it. Yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, let's see, chain strike. Improvise. Attack four. It's poison. I don't really th think that's going to do much for me, though. Okay, so we got the night champion. Don't know if I care for it that much, though. So let's delete another attack one. And I could upgrade a card, but I am poor. Anything to save up for? AP drain immunity. Huh. Some of those might actually be kind of good. Let's go wreck this. Let's wreck this. Okay, uh, that should be fine. I want to upgrade the Venom Strike. For obvious reasons. I'd like to get more Retaliate, but still. Backstab, another Dagger. I gotta go with the starting AP. I'm up to four. I'm where I was. Do I upgrade? Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade the Venom Strikes at the very least. Okay. So far, so so far, so good. And yeah, it seems like the potion, the potion build is really keeping me hale and hearty. I don't know if it's going to be particularly useful in the future, though. Okay, so physical resist. Oh, just reduces the damage taken by half. I'd like to get those Venom Strikes to be way punchier. Another Chain Strike. Yeah, unfortunately, I had Physical Resist on for that one. So, I like this game. I really sincerely wish it had the, uh... I, I sincerely wish it had the quality. What did I say? The quality? The... I mean, the, the visual design, the UI, it's physical immune. We'll just wait here. Uh, I wish it had the the visual quality that uh, Slay the Spire does. There's just too much going on on this UI, and it looks kind of clunky. I think I've said this before about this guy's games in the past. They're all really charming and cool looking and fun. But they just lack some level of, like... It's physical immune again. Well, I can poison it, at the very least. Freaking wraiths, man.
There we go. That took that took some time. At least we get the healing potion. I'll go kill a bat to get a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Get that venom strike. We go healing. Let's go healing. I've taken some damage. I guess I'm about to go up to full health after I kill this thing anyway. So it's fine. Okay. Okay, we level up, hand size gone up. I mean, more or less at this point, we wanna just kill him. Uh, let's see, this is fine. Yeah, I wonder if I can't upgrade the uh, the temp cards, which would be really unfortunate. I guess it makes sense. Because then what you wanna do is get the higher tier ones. Let's just kill him. perfect. Ugh, another Wraith. I need to stay away from these suckers. They're meaner than I thought they were. Okay, so you still got physical resist. But not all of my damage is physical now. Especially because I upgraded my Venom Strikes. Oh, it's really hard to chain poison on these guys, though. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that works. Let's see. On the plus side, you're finishing them when they're low level. I don't think they level up, but you do fight them later, and it sucks. Increase your maximum HP by 5 when claiming rewards. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Let's go back to the merchant. Yeah. Nerdok has a very specific art style. Grow me when playing his games on Congregate, but I do understand your comments on it. Like, the thing is, one, it's really low res. Like, there's no reason why I should be seeing pixel jagging on, like, the UI, let alone the characters. That's just, that's just lazy. And, like, I, I like the visual style for the characters and the backgrounds and a bunch of other things, but, like... There's so much wasted space and just, like, visual garbage that could be, like, streamlined. And this game would actually look, like, amazing if... Honestly, this game would look amazing if he took the level of quality that he took for those backgrounds, for example, and applied them to everything outside the, uh, the gameplay zone, effectively. I don't know. Okay, so let's upgrade a card. Venom Strike again? It's not a bad idea. Okay, and what can we buy? I don't think I want any of those. Okay, let's go after the Night Champion. Okay, let's mulligan that. There's gotta be something better. Eh, Retaliate one's pretty good. Press the turn whenever you deal physical damage. Oh. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Screwed that one up. Then again, backstab one is not very powerful one way or another. Okay, Venom Strike, Venom Strike, Chain Strike. Oh, so now I can start laying on the poison here a bit. Well, until he gets rid of all of it. Eh, happens. Let's draw a card. Should be good. Let's see. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I just feel like it's it's a shame because it's one of those where it's like, it's so close to perfect that like, it becomes glaringly obvious. Okay, so we've leveled up. We get some more stuff. I could get more starting AP or one of those two. Nah. Okay, I rank up again. So unlocks health potion. Go with this. Because that unlocks some more things. So treasure chests have one extra card. Unlocks the dexter dexterity. Gains APs and draw a card and recover cards. 
He unlocks fine coins, gain coins when played, giving you more money to spend, and card sieve and focus cards. Yeah, all right. All right, so what do we get? Do we get anything fancy yet? No. Temper Taliate is good, but not that amazing. See, 2 HP regen. Extra damage per thing blocked. The problem is I really like the restoring plate mail. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of some of these things. They're nice, but they're not that helpful. Okay, so I think I just reset all of my companion names. I hope I did. Uh, let's go after the swamps again, even though it wrecked my face. Okay, so we can bring her along. 15 block, yeah. What is her name? Uh, sure. We could go to the captain. Upgrade a card, plus two starting AP. Let's ignore the rest for a moment. Okay, let's gain a card. Draw a card at the start of your next turn, draw another card. I like that. I guess let's go after the basic skeleton. Man, the difficulty hike between one of these and the next is kind of insane. Improvise, block, chain strike, chain strike. Unfortunately, chain strikes just do not do a whole lot of damage. They're fun. Is he just life straining, life draining the shit out of me? He also just took like half my cards. Ow. Ugh. There's not much I can do about it, because effectively, every round he just, like, takes all of my cards and then draws a shit ton. Like, I'm gonna beat him, but it's going to be... It's going to be a barely beat him situation. Let's see, you should upgrade Chain Strike. I actually can't. And I got killed. Wow, I went from full HP to nothing on that one guy. But yeah, you can't actually upgrade Chain Strike at all. Uh, it is... It, it does not have an upgrade. 